in today's video I want to go through how to set up, lay out, and create a section view for a part and then assign the section lining or cross hatching to the part via the material of the model. So first thing I'm going to do is grab my base view and this will be the part that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my base view some so that I actually get to see the top view of the part and I'm going to get the correct orientation for the views that I would like to use. I'm going to go ahead then and set the scale. Set the scale 1 to 1. Actually 1 to 1 is not going to fit so we'll go back we'll set to 1 to 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my hidden lines are on because I want hidden lines in my top view and then go ahead and hit OK. My view is now being created. What I'm going to do now is just move this uh, up on my screen a little bit and then I'm going to come over here and grab my section view tool off of the create bar. Then I'm going to move over top of a view here. Since this is the only view on my screen, I don't have to select the view. Uh, it knows it's going to be the one I'm going to section. Now I'm going to move from, it's going to be a full section view, so I'm going to find basically center of the, the part and then slowly move off the edge of the part approximately a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to click and now I'm going to drag my section view cutting plane line across my part until it's approximately a quarter inch off the other side. And then I'm going to make another click. Then I move over and I now right click to grab the continue button. Once I grab the continue button, you can see the preview of my section view starting to develop. And if I wanted to go uh, up, you can see the arrows rotate or down in the air orientation I want to move and the arrows flip for the view designation. At this point, I'm going to make sure that my hidden lines are turned off, which get turned off here where it says hidden line removed because I do not want hidden lines on my section view. I'm going to use the full depth. I'm just going to come down here and now I can click and it will create for me my section view. With my section view created, I can now start looking at my part, start thinking about the section lining and the material that the part is made out of. Looking at the section lining, this is the general purpose or ANSI 31 uh, section lining. And my part should actually be made out of brass. So I'm going to go back to my part and I'm going to take a look at my eye properties for my part to ensure that the physical properties of my part are set properly. And actually this is ABS plastic. So I'm going to pull into here. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select brass soft yellow and then come back, hit apply and then hit close. And now I'm going to come back into my section part layout and I can see now that my section lining has not adjusted. So I'm going to double click on it. So I can go into update and I do not have access to actually select my buy material option here. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to go in to my styles editor. I can cancel out of this currently. I'm going to go into my styles editor so I can go ahead and set up the buy material option. That way it will read the material of the part. So to do that, I'm going to come up to my manage tab and I'm going to then find my styles editor tab below that. And it takes a while to open up. Then what I need to do is from my standard tab, I'm going to open and I'm going to find my default standard ANSI and then double click on that default standard. And in the tabs across the mid screen here, I see general, view preferences, available styles, object defaults, and then material hatch pattern defaults. This is where I want to go and make some adjustments. I see no materials here, so I'm going to come over and I'm going to actually load them from my style library. So I'll go ahead and click this button. And now it populates with several default materials. Now you can see that as I come down, all of the hatch patterns are based off of ANSI 31 for all materials. We know that's not correct. So I'm going to come here to my brass soft yellow, come over to ANSI 31, pull that down and make it ANSI 33. And you can see a preview that will show up here. Come down to the next one. I know this brass should be ANSI 33 and then bronze cast as well. Knowing that I'm only going to be working with a brass type material and I knew I used brass soft yellow, I just need to make the adjustment to those particular materials and then I can come down and hit save and close. Then I should be able to then select my hatching on my section view and then come up here to where it says buy material which is now an option and I can select that. It is now reading the material of the part and then populating it with the correct cross hatching. Go ahead and hit OK. So there's a very easy way to go ahead and set up your material. 
um, and to have your cross hatching read the material of your part. If you wanted to override that material, you can uncheck and then you can still come in and select a different cross hatching. However, a great way to make sure that everything works well from model all the way through drawing is to have the inventor section view tool read the material for your part. So I hope this helps with your section views and accuracy of materials.